welcome to Mosport Park, Ontario for the Canadian Tire Formula 2000. This man, Peter Lockhart, last year's overall runner-up, will be battling against the champion, Johnny Jones, in this, the fifth of a nine-race series. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan Bailey, and today I'll be working with Paul Brent, bringing you Canada's Supreme Road Racing Series. The Canadian Tire Formula 2000 Series is for single-seat, open-wheeled Formula racing cars. Slightly smaller and less powerful than their Formula One and IndyCar cousins, Formula 2000 is regarded as the training ground for Canada's best young drivers. Current Formula One debutants Ayrton Senna and Martin Brundle, as well as the world champion Nelson Piquet, raced in Formula 2000 in Europe on their way to the ultimate of auto racing. The sanctioning body of the Formula 2000 is the Canadian Automobile Sports Club. Their main objectives are to keep the rules simple, the costs down, and get people interested. This is excellent racing. Um... What you see here this weekend period is excellent racing, but the Formula 2000 really is. We have fellows that are trying so hard uh, to win, and the equipment is so equally matched that you can't help but have good racing. Yes, it is excellent racing. Entries this year average 25, with drivers competing for over $65,000 in prizes. Canadian Formula Racing Association President Jack Christie. Well, certainly it, it fills a... a a rung in the ladder that was missing between Formula Ford and the other series such as Super V or Formula Atlantic or Trans Am and uh, it's affordable uh, the cars look uh, professional they look like race cars and uh, they're saleable to sponsors and uh, the public likes them so therefore their promoters the track promoters like them with the previous four races enhanced with competitiveness and excitement, today's race at Mosport will be no exception. Point standings going into today's round look like this. In top place with 63 points is last year's champion Johnny Jones with wins at Mosport and St. Felicien. In second place with 41 points is Peter Lockhart winning the prestigious Formula 2000 race in Montreal. And tied with Jeff Foster for third place, taking the checkered flag at the last race in Granby, is Serge Baudin with 32 points. This year, the battle still lingers on between last year's champion John Jones and runner-up Peter Lockhart. Jones, the sensational 18-year-old from Thunder Bay, Ontario, has over a decade of racing experience. The 1983 Formula 2000 champion is climbing the race ladder, now driving for his sponsor, Golf, in the North American Trans Am Series. His father, former Canadian GT champion and John's team manager, talks about his son's success. Well, he's always wanted to be a race driver. He used to follow me around the racetrack since he was a little boy. And uh, of my three sons, he was the one that really wanted to do it badly. And he worked his way up through go-karts. He was very good there. We gave him a shot at ice racing. He, he, he came along real fast. And uh, the first time he climbed into a Formula 2000 car, I expected him to go well. I didn't expect him to go as well as he's going. He's just phenomenally quick for his age, and uh, he surprised all of us. 33-year-old Peter Lockhart of Toronto brings 16 years of motor racing to the Formula 2000 series. Lockhart, who was last year's runner-up, has had a busy weekend so far, not only concentrating his efforts on the 2000 today, but also qualifying the Sotiga for tomorrow's World Endurance Race. His team manager, who is responsible for the team's competitive strategy, is race instructor and safety educator John Powell. Peter's a very mature individual and he handles pressure well, but we've done some changes to the car, Peter. Uh, it's a total team approach for us and uh, I look forward to this race with uh, anticipation. We were very quick in the warm-up. Now let's go to trackside with Paul Brent. Good afternoon. We have a green light, and the first thing we'll do is check our starting lineup on the grid. Number one is Johnny Jones. Number two is Peter Lockhart. Jones holds the qualifying lap record here at Mosport. Now we'll await their turn to come around number 10 and head towards the starter, and we'll wait for that green flag. There it is, the green flag, and Peter Lockhart has jumped into a quick lead, flashing by Johnny Jones as they head into turn number one. An impressive start for Peter Lockhart. Heading into turn number three now, Lockhart in the lead with Jones right behind him. We had a heavy overnight rain and uh, the track is slippery. Fortunately, the rain stopped just prior to race time. There's our front runners, Peter Lockhart and Johnny Jones already beginning to pull away from the field. 
as we finish out lap number one, Johnny Jones hard on the exhaust of Peter Lockhart. Lockhart with a first and a second place finish so far this season in previous races, would certainly like to hold on to the first that he now has. Now we're on lap number eight. The front runners in the lead is Peter Lockhart. Johnny Jones unable to gain any ground. Lockhart is displaying the driving consistency that could well make him a Formula One driver. Here's our front runner again, Peter Lockhart with Johnny Jones right behind him. Jones just hasn't been able to make any ground, not able to mount a serious challenge to Lockhart. We're on lap 14 now, still our front runner is Peter Lockhart. His Esso Renard has been running very smoothly and very quickly for him today. Heading down the back stretch, here he comes into turn number 10. He'll be heading into his final lap now. Team manager John Powell gives him the thumbs up as Lockhart races by on this his final lap. Going into Moss Corner for the final time as he gears down. Makes that sharp turn. Now he heads towards the backstretch, pushes it to the limit as he heads for his checkered flag. And there it is, the checkered flag for Peter Lockhart. Number two will be Johnny Jones. Let's check our unofficial race results now. Number one, Peter Lockhart. Number two is Johnny Jones. He still has first place overall in the standings. Fine race for Lockhart with an untested engine. We, there's something in the motor. We had that motor rebuilt. Uh, it, everything appeared really good, and, uh, and unfortunately yesterday we blew a head gasket again. So uh, we had a motor. It arrived last night from England, and uh, the boys put it in this morning. And I must tell you, in qualifying, it was making some noises that I wasn't too familiar with and uh, uh, was making the same noises all the way through the race. But uh, I was absolutely amazed uh, at the time that we pulled off, uh, considering the track was very slippery. Uh, we took about a second and a half off the lap record today, which uh, is quite impressive. Impressive indeed. Lockhart's race lap record stands at 1 minute 24.6 seconds. That betters the previous record that had been set by Johnny Jones just in June of this year. Congratulations from John Powell for Peter Lockhart. And that concludes the race action for today. The next Canadian tire, Formula 2000 race, goes right here at Mosport on August the 25th. For Dan Bailey, I'm Paul Brent. Good afternoon.